Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's restart this. What's going on, guys? Uh, it is me, and this may look different, but that is because I have a gaming computer. Um, this is the first game I ever. Well, okay, that's a All lie. All co-workers were gone. I am. Um, hold on. Let me just get this out of the way. Um, I got a gaming computer for Christmas, and uh, I've been playing GTA a little bit. I might be doing uh, some like GTA mods videos, but uh, but this is the first game. It's called the Stanley Parable. Um, basically, Stanley I'm playing as as, as Stanley, Mr. Memo. and he is employee four two seven. He goes in this office every day. Gets instructions and yeah but uh this day he hasn't gotten anything so that's kind of what the what i'm at now um i'm assuming it's this way uh my friend john got me into it um i'm gonna send him this video uh don't judge me for how um when stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley <laughs> knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Um. That looks yeah, like a catch. Yes. Casting couch. A room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Can I? Can I get some to drink? No? Okay, cool. Um, no, but yeah, but this is the first game, business, so... Stanley took the first open door on his left. I feel like it's gonna... Ch I don't... You know what? I'm just gonna keep going. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> God, I'm um Ooh. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Not expecting that. Okay. All let's, of his um, co-workers were gone. What could let's mean? follow the right direction. Stanley decided uh, to go I to forgot the what I was saying. Perhaps oh, John showed me this game. Uh, he had posted on Instagram, and I really wanted to play it. And I um, when Stanley came to a set of yeah. two open doors, this he is, entered the door, and, and now we're here. So <laughs> I feel like no matter what I do, it's always gonna just. Yet there was not a single person here either, feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, let's... Do I get a shadow? I don't even get a shadow. Represent co-workers for not... Oh. Uh, using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Making your slide at least. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Monetize free to play, that's funny. <laughs> I like this game. Oh, excuse you. I wonder who's closing these doors behind me. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, my boss. My boss has a really nice office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss ah, had been keeping from him. Ah, that's... Yep, I and knew so it. And the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. But of course, 
Stand yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into funny. the newly opened passageway. Where's where's the passageway? Oh. I thought it was in front of me or something. Going down. There, oh, oh, God. I don't know what this means. I'm starting to get like a little lip because my, my tongue is kind of swollen. I don't know what's going on with it. It's kind of bugged. Bugged. There we go. Descending there it is. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Whoa, and sorry about that, guys. More free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Not I'm questioning everything right now. When for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Good. I hope not. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large control. door that read Mind Control Facility. Or Escape. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, mm. Stanley would meet mm -mm. his violent death. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he you know what? had no, too much fuck to you. live for. Fuck you, announcer. Nope. I've come to still on board with death. What if I could, what can, what if I just go back and forth? No more comments. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. I'm done with you. What's this? Is it another button? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have gaming to find out? Gaming goals right here. Do I have the strength? Fuck yeah, I have the strength. I don't know what that means. Boom. Now the monitors jump to life. Whoa. Revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and wow. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, that's life, isn't it? I'm just gonna ignore that sound this and just keep going. Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't uh, be true. Two, Had Stanley two, really been under two. someone's control all this time? Two, four, was seven. this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated that doesn't to doesn't look like my him. office. I could be wrong. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? I mean, Never. I can. It yeah. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? I would Had assume he it is. he spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? That's how I live my life. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality Mind of his control. past began to Damn. sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. What is this? For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or just no. I don't know how to do that. There's two. Did I do good? One, two. Did I? Oh. Did did I do good? One. I don't know. What's over here? I don't like this. I really, I'm just confused. What's that? 
Five. Yay. Buns. Mind controls. Idle. Awaiting. Input. Ooh. System power. And when at last he found the sword. Ah! Ah! I'm in the dark. What happened? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. I mean, I guess. Was it over? I hope not. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Was it that easy? himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Nope, don't care. What other mysteries Let's go. Did strange building hold. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but nope. happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Oh, no longer so would anyone slow. tell him where to go, boop, boop, what to boop, do, boop, boop, or how to feel. Boop, 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 boop. You think I can Whatever jump? life he nope. lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Oh, it's it so pretty. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. So Stanley pretty. stepped through the open door. Well, not yet. Ah, oh, oh felt yay. The cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. It's like Minecraft and GTA came together. <laughs> path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Was and it? Stanley was happy. Yay, happiness. That's it? There's so much more that I have to, like, what would happen if I didn't jump off of it? What if I were to follow it up to a certain point? What if I didn't press the button? What if, there are so many things that I'm going to have to figure out. But, for now, that will have to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gl glad to be back. Um, I'm going to be trying to get, uh, there's a problem with my Elgato, so I'm going to try to get that all fixed up. So, I can get some GTA video back for you guys, and with that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, 427, yep. And, hopefully, we can get some more things done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.